I, I will say though, so I and I know we're getting stun locked for 10 minutes between each round. I it's not Lululemon's fault. I broke my other pair of Lululemons last night. When I was pulling my pants back up after sitting down on the toilet, my heel was like slightly akimbo and it got stuck on the fly. So when I went zoop to pull it up, the heel was like it was pushing against something rigid and it ripped the fly. That one's my fault. So I was like, I've, I've, I've blown out a lot of pairs of pants now. I was going through my like drawer to figure out what to wear. I got a lot of shorts. I got to do some laundry, to be honest. I have probably like four or five pairs of pants. Like, listen, I've got a, I've got a laundry hamper that's divided, okay? In the right side of the laundry hamper goes stuff that I wear regularly, which needs to be washed between every use. Shorts and t-shirt, towels, you know, from working out, dry fit shirts, t-shirts, blah, blah, blah. And then in the left side, towels, jeans, khakis, slacks, sweaters, et cetera, et cetera. So I got that left side is like pretty full right now. That's where my, my other pants are. I'm wearing a, a 34 waist pair of H&M dress pants that I bought in Iceland just when I needed a pair of pants for a wedding um, that was there and all I had were jeans. And they are not staying up very well. It is like, I gotta, when I, if I go for a walk today, I'm gonna have to like wrap some duct tape around the waistline. I am no longer a 34, which feels nice, honestly. Belt, well, it's the problem is my belt is also a 34. So like my belt hasn't really been keeping my, my pants up. If anything, I've been pushing my stomach out to keep my belt up. So I gotta, I, I, I'm at the point on my belt where I think like I need to drill a new hole, but it's a nice belt. Like I don't wanna drill a hole with a cordless Ikea drill into my, into my nice belt. I think I might just have to get a little fat again. Go buy a new belt. <sighs> yeah, but like belt, <sighs> I guess, but here's the thing. I run through them. Any, anything, any clothing I wear that's below my waist, I have like some caustic sweat. It just like, it, my pants explode, my belts, they start to fray and stuff like that. So like the only belts that have really like survived for me have been really nice belts, but those are expensive. So I don't want to get like an H&M size 32 belt and then like in a month, like the cardboard is coming off from like the faux leather. How about mini cheap belts? Listen, come on. You're 30, figure it out. That's such like a child's way of looking at the world though. I remember being like 15 and being like, man, I can't wait till I'm 25. So I have like this, this whole life thing figured out. You just like don't know, you just figure it out as you go forever. It's not like you wake up one day and you're like, I'm 28 now. Like I know that I can take, I, like I've never been to like a tailor. I've never been to a cobbler. There's, every once in a while you'll like drive past the place and it'll be like Bill's cobbling and you're like, I didn't even know that still existed in the modern day, but apparently people are still getting like their shoes mended. I've only recently been to the dry cleaner. Now I, I feel like a dry cleaning pro. I can I go to the dry cleaner, I drop off like four things, they give me a slip and I, I'm like, I know what to do with this. I'm not gonna tell you because you're being condescending. Why don't, you, why don't you Google how to get your dry cleaning done when you wanna go have a human interaction, okay?